Hi Learning Theories and Applications students, welcome to class. My name is Dr. Marlin Griffin and I'll be your instructor for this course. I'd like to start off by telling you a little bit about the course and then about myself and then we'll let you get started on some content. This course is Learning Theories and Applications. We'll study a variety of learning theories and the applications of these theories for instruction and hopefully you'll be able to find some things that you can use in whichever instructional setting you find yourself working. As I said, I'm Dr. Griffin. I have been at Georgia Southern University since 1992. Prior to that time, I was at Florida State University. I entered Florida State as a freshman in 1981 and graduated with a bachelor's degree in speech language pathology in 1984. I continued on for my master's, which I obtained in 1985 from Florida State University. And then in January of 1986, I started working at Garrison Pilcher Elementary School and Central High School in Thomas County Schools in Thomasville, Georgia. Partway through my career as a speech pathologist, I realized that I wasn't necessarily content doing that work and I decided to go back to school. I entered the master's program in instructional systems design at Florida State and obtained a master's in instructional design, but somewhere along the way fell in love with educational psychology. So I got my PhD in educational psychology. I finished that in 92 and started working immediately at Georgia Southern. Since that time, I've taught a variety of undergraduate and graduate classes. Currently, I teach this class um, and some other doctoral courses. I supervise doctoral student research. I supervise EDS student research. And I also supervise a field experience for our uh, pre-education majors, everybody in their sophomore year. Uh, I do all their field placements. I teach an undergraduate class as well in assessment and management. So that's a little bit about my career, a little bit about me personally. I am married. I've been married to Brian Griffin since 1990. He's a statistics professor at Georgia Southern and um, you may, some of you may have taken classes with him. I also have two children. I have Marika who is 17 and entering her senior year uh, this fall and I have Gunther, who is 14, but will be 15 in July and will start driving right after he turns 15. Um, my kids are very involved in school activities, a variety of school activities. The things that seem to take up the most of my time are their athletic endeavors. Both my kids play three sports, and so I go to a lot of basketball games, cross-country meets, volleyball games, softball games, soccer games, and get to um, watch them and support them. I also enjoy photography. I'm not very good, but I do a lot of sports pictures for my kids' events, and I'm trying to learn to do portrait photography as well, but I'll never make a living at that. I, uh, in my free time, when I'm not going to ball games or working at Georgia Southern, I do enjoy reading and I enjoy traveling. I would love to do more of both. So that's a little bit about me. Uh, the course is set up so that each chapter has its own module in folio. And within those modules, I have assigned readings, I have quizzes, some of the modules have some activities, some things you can do. Every module has at least one video of me giving you an overview of the chapter and pointing out some of the more important points. There are also in the different chapters uh, links to videos that you might want to watch online, and I would encourage you to watch those. I have some pretty good clips of classical conditioning, um, some clips from brain science research, so there's some interesting things out there that I'd like you to take a look at. I'll try to be very plain and clear with my expectations, and I'd like for you to let me know if I'm not. If there's something that I need to do to help you, I would really like for you to let me know. So without anything else to say, at this point I will stop and let you all get started on content. Wait, there is one more thing I'd like to say. I'm not a professional narrator, I'm not a professional movie maker, and so you're going to find that these videos are very real with me stumbling over words periodically or not making good eye contact or saying something that doesn't make sense and having to go back and correct myself. And I just ask you to bear with me. So I'm going to just let them be hopefully good and um, have a variety of things for you to observe. Take care.